The rising cost of food continues to be a burden for many in the metro. According to the U.S. Department of Agriculture, food prices increased by nearly 10% last year. As prices go up, more people need help putting food on the table. But the people providing that help also need a boost to meet demand. So tonight we're amplifying the voices of those helpers, along with those analyzing the numbers of how many families don't know where their next meal will come from. We start with KSHB 41 News reporter John Kim, who spotlights the impact food prices have on nonprofits and how many they're actually able to help. Inflation is hitting hard. There's nothing to soften the blow. There was so much more assistance available during the pandemic. Right now at Crosslines Community Market, they spend about $20,000 a month on food to keep these shelves stocked. But the budget only grows. Demand is up 25% since the first of the year, and it's up 50% compared to this time last year. Has it ever been this bad? Uh, no. Marlon Hernandez shops for the food pantry. She's having to go the extra mile. Fewer donations are available from their community partners, and wholesalers are charging more. First, I have to see the things that we that is a need versus a want. You have seen me sometimes in Walmart emptying in their shelves. Nonprofits across the metro say they're now working together to build buying power. We also talked to Nourish KC, a nonprofit that relies on leftover food from community organizations to cook and feed people. People are finding solutions to keep things around longer than an expiration date. So whereas food that would come to us that's nearing an expiration date, we're not seeing as much of it come through. Mandy says lack of donations has led to less variety, something Nourish KC has always been proud to provide. Hello, how are you? Here you go, sweetie. Thank you so much. All right, have a good one. Another challenge they're seeing right now is a lack of manpower to meet the doubling demand. But with more of its budget going towards bundling food, it means less money for potential new hires. It all just comes down to dollars and cents. Price increases are expected to slow down in 2024, but it certainly won't decline. Nonprofits are concerned if this trajectory continues, families will have to make tough decisions. Between med medicine, between paying their rent on time, and providing any sort of healthy foods for their families. Jian Kim, KSHB 41 News.